apricots. At least our fathers do. And I suppose some of us will be orchardists. season starts with pruning. Pruning helps to make the tree strong and grow bigger fruit. I'll soon have to learn pruning too, if I want to be an orchardist like my father and uncles. trees free from disease. The big sprays wet the trees using 1,000 gallons an hour. We have to spray every few weeks. It's great to see the tractors roaring down the track, one behind the other. Day after day they go, until the whole orchard is covered and to watch the spray as it blasts the mist through the trees, just like a rainbow. and the blossom. The young fruit is thinned either by hand or with a machine. The machine shapes the tree and removes the small weak fruit so the other fruits can grow bigger and stronger. water the trees and the growing fruit. The water flows from the channel through a measuring wheel because we have to pay for the water and then an electric pump drives the water through the irrigation sprays. is right and the pickers come from all over Australia they come old ones and young ones and even families come to contract pick and make lots of money we get fast pickers and slow ones they're all different some people come back to our place every year
fruit is picked into bins. We only half fill them. Too much weight will squash the fruit on the bottom. The trailer takes four bins at a time and drops them at the shed. Then they are loaded onto the truck for delivery to the cannery. The whole place is moving. People everywhere. We keep contact with the house and office by two-way radios in the trucks and utilities. Apricots are called the wonder fruit because they contain large quantities of vitamin A, calcium and iron and are very good for health. We send our fruit to Ardmona Cannery which is about six miles from here. Ardmona processes all sorts of soft fruits and exports them right around the world. The bins and forklift trucks make the job of handling the fruit much easier than in the old days when the fruit was picked into small boxes or cases and loaded onto the trucks by hand. cannery the fruit is weighed and then tipped onto the sorting line where all the rough fruit is picked out. From now until they are in cans the cots will be shunted around like people at a big railway station being pushed through one gate and out another.
this line, the fruit is cleaned, scrubbed and sliced. The stones are extracted, dried and used for cleaning jet engines. From the start right through to the finished canned product, people are busy searching for anything that might lower the high standard of quality. It's really interesting going through a cannery. There's always something new to see. The fruit is put into cans with the syrup. The tops are put on and then off to the cookers for treatment. Around and around, up and down they go, on their way to someone's table, possibly 10,000 miles away. invented at the cannery. It stacks the cans ready for marking. The cans are held in storage as they wait to be labelled and packed in cartons. This is pretty much the story of the apricot, the health fruit that gets around, in more ways than one. And when we talk about different fruits and compare them as health foods, we're proud that we grow apricots.